All right, there we go. <clears throat> Forgot to put a memory card in it. Anyways, hello, welcome. This is Joe the Masks. I'm going to be uh, showing you one of the techniques I've used to, ah, here it is, to make this a weathered door from my tavern. I haven't glued the brass bits on yet, but here you, woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, makes it look beaten up black old barn wood. Uh, I might try some other stuff later, maybe to brown it, or, but anyways, I'm going to show you how to make this, at least. This type of blackish brown barn wood. Alright, so first of all, here we've got a nice table, made entirely out of popsicle sticks and glue. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yes. But we could make it look nicer by moving stuff out of the way. <clears throat> so first of all... Ah, screw that. This is my, my water. Yes, there's a bunch of stuff in the water. It's because I also use it for uh, sanding, shavings and stuff. But that, say, uh, those always sink to the bottom because they're resin. So we're good. But anyways, uh, black ink, any type of black ink works. This is Badab Black from Citadel. Uh, you can't find it like this anymore, but they still have black inks. This is the old Citadel. But yeah, any type of black ink will work. Load up your brush, and we want a lot of it on it. We want it to really soak in there. We want it to soak into the wood quite a bit, because we're going to sand some of it off. Get this sucker going. Anyways, I'm hoping to uh, make more of these types of videos as well as the political videos, um, and then the reading of the fan fiction, because basically I'm, I'm, I'm here for you, but I'm also here for me. This is my, uh, this channel is my cool down. It's my, my thing that helps me, uh, cope with being slightly insane, uh, with being beat up, the pills I take. Now, make sure you get the, uh, the edges too. Yeah. Cause we want, we want this to actually look like it is and then spread it make sure there's no paintbrush marks no paintbrush marks see nice even coat look at that nice even coat that's a nice even coat okay now we're going to get underneath of course because you know weathered wood doesn't just weather the top it weathers everything and make sure you get everywhere this one's a little bit harder than the wooden door because there's a lot more, uh, well, here's and there's. Don't worry too much about um, over uh, over inking because that's actually not too bad a thing. Just try to get the so that way there's no visible brush marks, and that that's all we're really worried about. It makes it look more real because uh, over inking isn't a problem. We're gonna. It's not a problem at all. I'd almost like, I almost kind of want to get a, an ink so bath and soak these suckers in, in a small ink bath. We'll see how that one goes. I'll try to make an ink bath and see if that's any good. If that actually does help or if Joe's just pulling, or if we're just going to make the wood black and therefore not look aged at all, but just black. Probably will. Hmm. Probably won't make it look very aged. Anyways, I'll try it. I'll see how it goes. And then if it, uh, if it goes well... I'll show you guys how I do it. But yeah, this whole thing's made out of popsicle sticks. I use the fat ones. I used a knife to carve them down to size a little bit, which actually makes it really nice because it makes it a little bit more uh, hodgepodge instead of uh, perfect. Let's try to get it everywhere. I shouldn't have done such a comp. Oh well, I want. Oh, I needed to do it anyways because I was gonna. I wanted to make this look aged anyways because this is a table that's sitting outside. This is the the table that's gonna sit outside my tavern. So I want it to to look like it's been out in the weather and beaten up and abused a little bit. Not like nice old barn wood. I think it'll look really pretty. Nice aged wood. 
little black char. Get ink all over my desk. Now, now some people put like something underneath and stuff because you know they care about the prettiness of their desk. I guess I don't. I kind of like the scars and the stuff as long as it's smooth enough. Like I sand it once in a while to keep it smooth, to keep it so I can do the things I want to do on it without breaking stuff or having the table make horrible imprints. Stuff like that, you know. Lots and lots of ink. I don't want to drip too much ink though because that's wasteful. We don't want to waste the ink. Ink's expen Well, it's not horribly expensive. That's why I'm using it. <laughs> I've used uh, different, I don't think that was 20 minutes, something must have happened. Oh well, I guess I'll just edit these together. Um, yay, more editing, that means it will take longer to do. It's much easier to edit one piece than it is to edit a bunch of pieces together. But oh well, you know, I'm here for you. I'm here for you and I'm you're here for me and we're, we're here for each other, we love each other. There's so much love going on. Do you not feel the love tonight? Can you feel the copy strike? It's coming really hard. Cause companies want all the cash they can. They don't care about you or me. That actually turned out better than I thought it would. <clears throat> I'm a musical genius. I'm a genius of music. Uh, don't waste the ink, Joe. That means you're going to have to buy more. Ah, 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 I got wrapped up in the cord. <clears throat> I'm a genius. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go over this again because you can see all those brush marks. Get rid of the brush marks. No brush marks. Brush marks are bad. that I'm gonna have to probably add this together anyways because uh, I'm gonna have to wait for the ink to dry before I can move on to the next part so yay more editing right you guys love editing I guess that's why I like my political videos because I just sit in front of a camera and rant at you sometimes pulling up pictures to look at Basically because, you know, if I'm going to rant to you about something, I want to at least uh, be as informed as possible. Uh, but remember, I it's opinion. What I'm, what I'm saying, politics is opinion. What I'm saying is my opinion. Uh, I like this new stand I just built. I took my uh, mic stand, which has a screw that's too big, and I flipped it, uh, flipped the pole over. Maybe I'll take off the camera. Uh, when I record next and to, uh, and show you guys but I, I, I flipped the flipped the armature and um, took a, a bolt I had laying around that was the uh, the correct size and using putty uh, plumber's putty or not putty but uh, it reminds me of plumber's place why I keep thinking of it uh, epoxy two-part epoxy plumber two-part epoxy and I, I mixed that plumber two-part epoxy and then I took some really nice uh, glue that I got off of Ben really nice glue uh, I'll show you guys in a second and I glued over it and it, it made it look really professionally pretty actually it doesn't so much look like a, a crap job you know, you can tell that it's not an original piece, but uh, it doesn't look bad. It actually looks pretty good. Okay, I don't care if the... Uh... Now, we don't need to worry too much about the underside, to tell you the truth, because this is how most people are going to see the, hand, uh, the table. I'm just a little bit of a perfectionist, I guess. All right. Definitely need to get more ink. If I want to weather, I'm debating about weathering the outside of the uh, of the tavern. I'm gonna I'm, before I do that, I'm at least gonna paint the stonework on it, and I might go paint the stonework while I wait for this to dry, and then record my next video. Okay, 
There's that. It's all wet. It's all covered in ink. This is my uh, one of my old. All right, something wonderful is acting with the camera. All right. So now that the ink is dried, hours later, we're going to take. This is a uh, fingernail sander. Well, part of a fingernail sander. This is a fingernail sander that I got from a dollar store. Whole pack of them. Pack of a hundred for a dollar. And we're going to take this. And we're going to start roughing it up. And hopefully my camera is not going to pop up on me. And rough it up and rough it up. Basically start to show the layer underneath it where there isn't any ink or isn't as much ink. And it's also going to flatten it out and smooth it out because that's how barn wood loses its black is because it's moved around, roughed up, bothered, and the uh, burnt aged layers are chipped and knocked and pushed off, giving it this wonderful sort of aged look. And you perfectly fine in focusing it in areas that you think are too dark or need a little bit more roughing up than other areas, especially corners, edges, you know, stuff where a lot of action would happen. A lot of things to knock it off. And that'll basically start making it look more like aged wood and less like ink covered wood. Which is basically a lot of the same stuff anyways. Now remember, I get, we don't have to worry too much about the underbelly. I mean, for most model games, D and D, Games Workshop, what have you, this is how the book, this is how the table is going to be viewed from. It's going to be viewed from this, you know, this angle. Sometimes from the sides, but every once in a while, I like those extra details, just because every once in a while, someone always picks up your model and takes a look at it. Hopefully with permission, because those guys that don't ask permission. Oh, uh, let's just say they usually tick most of us model makers off. And that's not very good to do. Because then we stop bringing in our models and showing them off. As well as other things. Like a good punch in the face. I'm not condoning violence, but come on. Don't touch my models without permission. It, it's a very easy concept. But yeah, it's starting to come out really nice. Nice and aged. <sighs> Looking really good. I do all this editing tonight so I can put it up. So that way I can have a video for today without having to make a random political video about, uh, about basically nothing. Because I kind of don't want my political videos to sneak into my craft video, so I want to keep them separate. Because if I'm going to whine about media and non-media not keeping their politics out of entertainment, I'd be, uh, I'd be a hypocrite, wouldn't I? So yeah. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's looking beautiful. Oh yeah. That's looking nice. I am happy with that. I'm make that a little more roughed up because it's just looking like an ink spot. With a little bit more roughed up, it'll look less like an ink spot and more like a dark spot. There we go. Because of course it's going to be darker where things don't really touch. I'm going to kind of sand up a bit because that's where, you know, people always, when they move a table, where they put their hands? Underneath the table. 
as well as your knees bump up against it and other stuff and it just makes it look a little bit more realistic all right there we go that my friends is an aged long table now you can use this for i don't know tons of different things let's see i think it's a little tall let's go ahead and grab the regular 28 millimeter model ah, get some nice chairs next to that it won't, it won't be too bad i don't think it's i don't think it's too bad Whoop, nope, you don't want to stand. No, I think it I think it's looking a great a good height. There we go. Got a nice outdoor table. And probably make a long bench for it or something, at least on one side. And set that up at my tavern. So this one, like I said, will be on the outside of the tavern. And when I finish painting them up, these suckers are going to be on the inside with a barrel and a piece of wood on top. These will be the inside ones. So let's go ahead and take a look how the tavern is coming along since last I've seen it. I finished painting the stone on it. Let's go ahead and... Eh, nope, that's tighter. I want to lose it. There we go. Let's straighten you up a little bit. Pull you back. There we go. There we go. So, okay. So here we got the chimney. Uh, and the nice half wall. I'm going to put the uh, cellar door here. Nice half wall. All the way around. And then a full door or full wall for where our nice little aged wood door will go. And now that it's painted, I can put on the brass fittings and glue and slide that sucker in. And then of course, you've got to paint the inside of the wall. And then I painted this black because that'll be, so that'll hide the underside of the flooring. And then I painted this black so that way when I put the uh, walkway and then flock everything, it'll hide where the flock doesn't cover on the walkway. So all I really got left to do is just do a little bit of sanding along the edges where the black accidentally crept through the paint. And then when I do the smithy video, I'll show you how I do these bricks. Because my smithy, which is the next building, will have a lot more of these bricks in it because it will be a smithy. And then I'm de debating about thatching all of the kitchen or just having it brick as well because like most old buildings the kitchen will be off to the side over here so if that way because most of the time in castles and other buildings and ain't older buildings uh, that's especially why a lot of old brick homes you'll have a kitchen built to the side of your brick home because your kitchen more often than not that's the thing that lit on fire and would burn down and so if you had it away from everything else slightly when it lit on fire like it almost always does because you've got a lot of grease a lot of other stuff grease fires happen all the time in kitchens uh, then it's gonna go up in smoke and all of this will be safe only the kitchen will burn and then you just have to replace the kitchen and if you're quick enough all you gotta replace really is the thatch on the kitchen so there'll be one more level to this one will be about this tall and then I'll make the thatch roof on top. And I'm going to make it so the thatch roof can come off so you can see into the attic. And that the second floor will come off so you can see into the tavern. Because this is not just a diorama piece. I'm not just having fun building this to look at. This is going to be a play piece that can be used either in wargaming or more hopefully more often in D&D. &D. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, role playing games, such like that. So anyways, thank you very much for the video, for watching. I'm going to go do a ton of editing. And uh, this has been Joe the Masks, and I'll see you soon.